guys welcome back today i'm gonna be doing my birthday makeup look our eyebrows are done let's get right into it i'm gonna start with the nyx proof it waterproof eyeshadow primer this is like glue to your eyelids guys it will make your eyeshadows last a long time and it is waterproof the palette i'm going to be using today is blood sugar by jeffree star and i'm going to be taking cake mix as my transition color using a fluffy brush i'm just going to be blending this in my crease rainbow motions Following that is Cherry Soda, and I'm taking a more denser brush for this and putting it in my crease, but a little bit lower. Move that hair out of my face and just blending it in. And I like to go back and forth with the white hair brush and the black hair brush just to make sure I have everything nice and blended. After that, I'm going to be taking this color Extraction and I'm going to be tapping this on the outer corner of my eyelid and whatever is left over in my brush, I'm going to be bringing it forward inward. Not picking up any color, just bring it in forward. Next, I'm going to take Coma, which is this pretty plum color and an eye pencil brush and I will be drawing out a C shape and just on the outer corner of my eye, I will bring it inward and blend it all out with the white haired JH31 Morphe brush. I wanted it a little bit darker, so I'm taking this color Intravenous, which is the brown, focus it on the outer corner of my eye, and bring whatever's left over on the brush inward. All right, guys, this is where the magic begins. I'm taking the Metal Crush Eyeshadows by Kat Von D. The first color I'm going to be taking is Static H, such a pretty silver metal color. And I'm taking this with my 242 brush by MAC. I sprayed it with a little bit of Fix Plus to make it more metallic y and just pat that all over my eyelids. I wanted the inner corner to be a little bit more lighter, so I'm taking Thunderstruck. The eyeshadow kind of cracked on me, so it's kind of broken and loose, but I'm just taking this on the inner corners of my eyelids. And after that, I just like to clean it in a little bit with my brush because it can kind of get messy there. And I'm taking the same dark color and kind of emphasize the dimension a little bit more. So darkening it up a little bit. Making sure I'm in focus because I'm always out of focus, guys. But I just wanted to put a little bit more of that dark brown color because it kind of went away when I added the pigment glitter. For eyeliner, I'm using a NYX Matte Liquid Eyeliner and my e.l.f. tapes to help me get a perfect wing eyeliner. And that is basically it. I'm going to be doing the rest out of camera just to kind of speed the video up. Remove the tapes and you have a really nice sharp wing eyeliner. Amazing, guys. Yes! Now moving on to our face, I'm using the e.l.f poreless face primer rubbing this all over my face and i'm going to be taking the makeup forever hd foundation stick for foundation and i'll be placing this all over my face with my clean fingers and blending it out with my morphe beauty sponge For concealer, as always, I'm using the Morphe Concealer in the color C2.25. I'll be placing this underneath my eyes. As always, the bridge of my nose, around my lip area, and I'm blending it out with my beauty sponge. Now, to set my concealer, I'm going to be taking the Locket Translucent Powder by Kat Von D. And I like doing this with my beauty sponge. I feel it avoids me from creasing when it's a damp beauty sponge. And for my all over face, I'm going to be setting it with my Charlotte Tilbury uh, Air Blush, Air Blush, Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. That's always a tongue twister for me. Now for a bronzer, I'm going to be taking a Becca powder. This is Shadow and Light and a big fluffy brush. This is the Morphe and Jaclyn Hill in the number JH02. 
and putting this all over my face bronzing it up this is my favorite part of doing my makeup guys what's your favorite part now for an inner glow i'm going to be taking the lancome absolute loose highlighting powder and i take this with the beauty sponge and put it on the apples of my cheeks this guys i swear it gives you a really nice subtle glow nothing too strong just a very nice glow within i swear by it amazing now for blush we're going to be taking it back using the elf candid coral blush such a pretty coral color guys and for highlight we're going to use whisper of guilt another oldie but a goodie and this is such a pretty highlighter it is by mac it used to be limited uh, used to be limited edition i'm not sure if it is now um, but such a pretty highlighter I'm going to be taking Thunderstruck, which was a loose metal crush eyeshadow, the white one from Kat Von D, and just placing this on the inner corners of my eyes. I'm taking the same color, the cherry, the dark, um, and the purple plum all over the under eyes area. The under eyes area. The under eye area. Sorry, guys. Ugh, I don't know what's wrong with me. I can't speak. I'm going to go more precise with a more precise brush with the dark brown shade to kind of darken it up and then just blending it out. Okay, now moving on to lips, I'm taking this lip pencil by MAC in the color magenta. And I'm going to be putting this all over my lips um, and then I'm going to be topping it off with a liquid lipstick. The liquid lipstick I'm going to be using is Mannequin. This is by Jeffree Star. It's such a pretty nude liquid lipstick and it doesn't leave your lips that dry. Spraying it off with a setting spray by Morphe and Jeffree Star. And that is it, guys. This is the final look. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you soon next time. Goodbye.